Saul, who was also known by his Roman name, Paul, was with the church in Antioch. The Holy Spirit chose Paul and another believer, Barnabas, for a special work. So they obeyed and left Antioch. God led Paul and Barnabas to tell the good news about Jesus to not only the Jews, but the Gentiles, or people who were not Jews. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Lystra. Paul healed a man there who had never been able to walk. The people saw what Paul had done, and they thought Paul and Barnabas were gods. They began to worship them, but Paul and Barnabas tore their clothes and shouted, No, we are not gods. We are men, just like you. We want to tell you the good news of God. Then some people showed up from Antioch and Iconium, cities where Paul and Barnabas had preached about Jesus. These people caused trouble so that the people in Lystra turned against Paul and Barnabas too. They threw stones at Paul and dragged him out of the city. They thought he was dead, but the believers in Lystra gathered around Paul. And he got up. Ah. The next day, Paul and Barnabas went to the city of Derbe. They told people there about Jesus, and many people believed. Then, Paul and Barnabas went back to Lystra, into Iconium. They encouraged the believers there to continue in the faith. They told the believers that they would face suffering because they believed in Jesus. Paul and Barnabas also chose leaders for the churches. Finally, Paul and Barnabas returned to the church at Antioch. They reported everything God had done on their journey and how God had helped them share the good news with the Gentiles. Many people rejected the good news about Jesus, but God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with the Gentiles no matter what troubles he faced. Many believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel spread so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus. We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go, go, go. Jesus said to go. Loves them
Good morning. Jesus was a Jewish man living in Israel, and his disciples were mostly Jews also living in Israel. In fact, the early church was almost entirely made up of Jewish people living in, you guessed it, Israel. But God's plan was never to have a church of just one kind of person from just one area of the world. God is the God of all creation, and his plan involves saving people of all nations from sin. So eventually, some Christians had to take the gospel to the Gentiles, or non-Jewish people. Paul was one of the men God chose for this job. Paul and Barnabas told Jews and Gentiles about Jesus. This was new and strange information for most Gentiles, especially those who worshipped other gods or idols. To help people believe the words of Paul and Barnabas, the Holy Spirit gave them power to do extraordinary things. The Holy Spirit gave Paul and Barnabas the ability to heal people, to speak boldly, and even to endure physical beatings. The Holy Spirit also gave them wisdom and direction to know where to go and who to leave as leaders for the new churches in each city they visited. Paul and Barnabas began to change the world because they were faithful to the mission God gave them. But they were never alone in this mission either. They had God with them the whole time. It's the same for us. God will be with us and help us to live for his glory. We can live boldly on mission because of God. And what is our mission as Christians? Our mission is to make disciples of all nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul and Barnabas' mission was not easy, but I'm so glad they were willing to obey God. Many people rejected the good news about Jesus, but God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with the Gentiles, no matter what troubles they faced. Many people believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel spread so that people all over the world could be saved from their sins by trusting in Jesus. Pray with me. God, thank you for loving us all, regardless of where we come from, what we look like, or what language we speak. Thank you that your plan isn't just for a few people, but for all people who have faith in Jesus. Give us the power, the wisdom, and the courage we need to live on mission for you. Amen. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for questions from kids. Colton from Memphis, Tennessee asks, How should I respond to people who don't believe in Jesus? Colton, that's a great question. And the first thing I think I would say is this. We have to understand at one time, this was all of us. Uh, at one time, we didn't believe in Jesus. And then we trusted him and now we believe in him. So this is true of everybody, at least at one point. So how do we respond to people who don't trust in Jesus, don't believe in him, don't follow him when we do? Big idea here. We need to love them and be kind to them. They are not our enemies. We should not see them as people we argue with and try to convince to believe in Jesus and follow him. Uh, we should not be upset and fresher with them because they live differently from us. They don't know better because they don't believe in Jesus yet. So we really wanna be kind to them. We wanna show them the love of Jesus. We wanna show them the difference that Jesus makes in our lives. And if we're jerky with them, if we're mean to them, if we talk down to them, we are showing them the opposite of what they need to see. And so we want to be engaging. We want to be, there's a, a word for this, it's called winsome. We wanna be winsome, um, attractive to them so they see Jesus through us. So how we live really matters, but there's another practical thing we can do. We wanna keep telling them about Jesus. We wanna share the gospel with them. We, we can't be good enough for them and show them Jesus enough for them to trust in Jesus just by that. They need to hear about Jesus 
so that we pray they trust in Jesus and follow him too. So be kind, show the love of Jesus, and tell them about who Jesus is, and be patient. Remember, them turning to Jesus is not up to you. It's a work of God in their hearts. So just do your part, pray for them, and then leave the rest to God. So here's a question back for you. Can you think of a time you were surprised by unexpected kindness to you? Many people rejected the good news about Jesus, but God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with the Gentiles, no matter the troubles he faced. Many people believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel spread so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus.